Hi everybody and welcome to the Civic Centre Art Gallery. My name is Angela Kiki, I'm the artist and I have the honour of presenting the Mayor of Camden, Teresa Fideli, who actually instigated this exhibition because she fell in love with um, my painting, Conversion of Glory. And I'm very happy to be here, it was very successful. Thank you to the council, thank you to my sponsors, HEPA, and um, everybody else who helped me. And um, I leave you to um, our beautiful mayor, Teresa Fideli. Stay here, Angela. Um, all I can say is big congratulations, Angela. When I saw your work approximately, I think about seven, eight years ago in Campbelltown Art Gallery, I was mesmerized, I was shocked. Each painting just tells history, a story, which I love history. Then when you contacted me and I saw you at another event and you were interested in having it here in Camden, words cannot say, the photos, the painting says it all. Again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for coming to Camden and showing our LGA your great work and a big congratulations. Thank you all. very much. Mm. Thank you so much. It was very successful. Mm. And um, I also have another person to thank because without the historian, Dr. Tamiyoki Piamangi, a lot of these paintings wouldn't have happened because my, um, I'm Australian, I've been brought up in Australia, I don't know Greek history, I had to study, I had to research, and with the help of historian, uh, Panagioti, please come Welcome. and talk to us. And thank you, and thank you so much for coming. Thank you for the invitation, uh, joining me. Yeah. Pleasure, pleasure. Welcome to Camden, again. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. Well, I, well, you talked about this painting and how um, the way it is, how the three battles happened at the same place for the same reason. 25 centuries apart. <laughs> okay. And, and I think that's the... the the most amazing thing about your painting, Back in Virgins of Glory, and I love the title by the way, the name you gave the painting, is that that coincidence, that convergence of three battles for freedom, for independence of the local people, the people who live in the area, um, 25 centuries apart, as I said. We'll start from the top. Uh, everybody will understand, the, we'll get the reference of the Spartans. The 300s, everybody's seen the, the Hollywood yeah, really. films. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. The first two, the, the, the original one in the 60s, and then the more, more recent one, and then that other one, which we're going to talk about, the third one, we won't talk about that. So. Um, and you've got a lot of artistic freedom, shall we say, because they did not go into battle or anything like that, but let's, let's go with it. <laughs> but well, they had to make look good, and they did. Yeah. Yeah, you had, you've got the uh, hoplite warriors there, and it's interesting that in all three segments, the enemy, the opposition, is not naked or type of painting. No, come closer. Steps to the edge, right? Yeah, yeah. No, we're going to edit this, so it doesn't matter. But the, the focus is the painting, not my thoughts on it. Yeah. Uh, the absence of the of the opponents of the enemies. So in 480 BC, we have of course the famous battle of the Hot Gates, the Mopoli, translates as Hot Gates, Hot Springs, because of the it's a volcanic area. So there are still springs. If you go there, you can still smell the, the sulphur. Um, 1821, we have the Battle of Alamana Bridge, which you can see here, and. Some people will wonder what the flag is, and that's actually the original, as you point out here in the, in the painting, that's actually the original Greek flag. Exactly, yeah. Before they adapted the modern version, which is actually quite modern, it's only 1960s, but they adopted what, what we now call the Greek national flag. That was the original Greek flag. In the costumes of, costumes, for us the traditional costumes, that, that was their everyday dress, that's, that's, what, that's all they had. So Although it was quite, um, it was quite um, elaborate for, for our time. But that's why you can see how proud they were. Of course. The, the pride in what they were fighting for, but also what they were wearing. And just like with the ancient Spartans who spent their last day brushing their hair and oiling themselves and to, <laughs> to leave beautiful corpses. Um, <laughs> it sounds hilarious, but that's the truth. 
to, to, to rip off James Dean. Um, we have the same thing in, in 1820s. What they knew they were going to lose, they knew they were fighting a losing battle, but they were buying time for their other comrades for the, the struggle to rebuild, to secure something out of their defeat. And this is where the glory part comes in, of, your, of the title of your painting. Yes, yes. And the third one, of course, of the Anzacs, and this a very different title, that at the, at the very same, in the very same district, in Thermopylae, in Thermopylae itself, actually it was the Kiwis that were actually where the Alpilas and the Spartans fought. The Australians were up on the mountain in the Brahmas Pass, which is where the Persians passed through, like the, the, the old goat track, which over time became a proper road, more or less a proper road. So the Anzacs uh, were fighting in the same area, or literally, literally on the same ground as the Spartans and the Balagaria of 1821. Again, smashed by the opposition, in the case with the Nazis, it was air power that was a deciding factor. They were completely, they had no air cover, so of course Bartholomew blasted them. But organized such a, a, the retreat from the area was so well organized that the military police academy of the Defence Force, Australian Defence Forces, is still called La Mia Barracks. And it's literally a short distance from where we are, right over at Holtzworth. Yeah, you might live near where I live. <laughs> Holtzworth. Holtzworthy yeah, Barracks, the Holtzworthy base, includes the Defence Force Academy, the military police, sorry, the military police uh, college, and it's called Limia Barracks. Oh. And it's named for the military police that organised the retreat from this area, from Thermopylae, and the because Limia is only 10 kilometres away from Thermopylae, we have to I couldn't understand why um, the princess, Prince Harry and Prince William have visited Holtzworth Barracks. It's the military police. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because they're in the before. neighbourhood, following hamburgers from the neighbour yeah. from the neighbourhood shopping centre. I'm thinking, what are they doing here? Yeah, yeah. 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 Holtzworth is Holtzworth Barracks has been here since before World War One. Wow, wow. Before World War One. Yeah, it was established before World War One. In World War One, there were it was the main recruiting place for the first Anzac Corps. And then they catch the train, they hop on the train at Liverpool, yeah. down to Circular Quay, to hop on the ships to then oh, sail wow. to the battlefields of Europe and Gallipoli. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, in 16, they didn't do it, it wasn't a wow, they actually had a bit of a riot through Pitt Street, but let's not go there. <laughs> Can because they, they, because they, they, they got drunk and were annoying and kind of bored, and they had a bit of a riot. But it, it's not just. It's not just the history behind the painting, it's also I love the way you arrange the painting. Mm. So if you look at it, yes, you have the Spartans across the top, the Anzacs in one corner, the Balagaria of the 1820s in another corner, but you've also got two L's, Greek L, the Lumba. And we know for a long time the Spartan warriors would use the L on their shields, after Leonidas, the, the legendary king who fell in battle uh, at Thermopylae. So what you've done, Tiki, is use the centerpiece, of course, is a, a copy or a reproduction of the Spartan shield. But then you've used the water, because if you, if you look at the map of the Thermopylae area, it's actually flipped. There's actually a deep gulf that comes in this way. So the road goes around here and causes a choke point. Tiki's put the choke point on this side. Ge geographically it's on this side, it doesn't matter. It's still causing it, creating a second lumber. So using, and again, you can see that the bridge also causes a little bit of imagination, another lumber. And it's, it's, the bridge links the two names, the two sides. Yeah, yeah. In our case, in Kiki's painting, linking the Anzacs with with, with Greece, with, uh, with the area of the Mobilia and Alamana. And they were protecting that side of the bridge and they were protecting the other side of the bridge. So it's really amazing how this And the Anzacs were, 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 and the Anzacs were protecting both sides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's absolutely So I, I love the way you brought a bit of geometry, because I'm not a mathematician. Maths tormented me as a student. 
um, I love the way you've brought the geometry into the artwork to give it a, a sense of balance. And it really is. A painting to a non-art specialist like myself. I'm a historian, not an art specialist. So that confuses me. Um, apart from the, the stories that we see in the paintings, I love the balance. I love about the way that you have presented these different groups, these different historical stories. So that one is not dominating another, they kind of blend into each other. There's no harsh line, okay, this is that bit, and then there's this bit. And it's kind of like they all blend in. So you've got the Anzacs here, and you come across to the left, and you, you're, you're suddenly in the 1820s. Yes, you've got the ancient um, spear and oblong. The original word for shield is oblong, that's where we get hoplite from. And the, the sword. And then you've got the, the, the sword and the pistol, which they were the main one of weapons they used in the 1820s. And these are the Anzacs. The bayonets. Yeah. Because they're all together. And this comes out. That unity of purpose comes out. Well, the, well my, that's what I want. I want this. I want the purpose of unity for all of us because, you know, these people all fought for the same reason, freedom. Yeah. And I just want it to stay that way. We, want, we have to fight for our freedom together. And, and I think this is the message that really comes very clearly through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Um, would you like to go to Margarita?